Hello everyone, this is Bhuvan from Celitech Learnings. In this video, we will discuss about WebDriver Manager, which is an open source Java library that can be used to manage the drivers required for the Selenium WebDriver. We can see these kind of errors whenever there is an update to the browser, or else, like if we have set any wrong value to the system.set properties, also we can see different kinds of errors. Like so as to avoid these kind of uh, errors, we can make use of the WebDriver Manager API. Now let's see this practically. Let's go to Google and type WebDriver Manager. So the first link we got is the official site of WebDriver Manager. It's a GitHub. So here we can find the documentation of WebDriver Manager. So it is nothing but a open source Java library. So we are making use of this to avoid downloading the jars. For this, we need to create a Marvin project. So just type in, create a Marvin project by typing Marvin. So select the Marvin project from the values and create a sample project. Click on next, give some random group ID and artifact ID and click on finish. Now the project is created. So we can see the pom.xml for the Marvin project. Let's uh, try to add the required dependencies. So I'm adding the dependencies tag over here. Inside that we can add the dependencies by go going to the Marvin repository. So here the dependencies we need is Selenium and WebDriver Manager. So let me add Selenium Java first. We can download the latest version of just copy this and paste between the dependencies tag. So we have added the Selenium dependency. Let's search for WebDriver Manager over here. So WebDriver Manager and click on search or enter. We got the results like upon this take the results which is having more usage. So the first is first one is the one here we can take latest version of WebDriver Manager. So we can copy the dependencies tags so and paste it between the dependencies over here. So let's save this. Let's go to the test folder and create a class. You can create any dummy test class. Add main method. Click on finish. So it's created now. Let's try to access the webdriver manager related methods and classes. We are not getting any suggestions for WebDriver or WebDriver Manager because like Marvin will take some time to download those dependencies. Let's wait some time and try to access WebDriver Manager. So now we can able to access WebDriver Manager. So just select that one and try to open the Chrome driver by accessing the Chrome driver method. And use setup method to do the Chrome driver setup. So from here the remaining steps are common. We have to use the web driver, web driver and need to create the object and need to invoke the Chrome driver. So here uh, the advantage is we don't need to create the system set properties. Let's run and see. It should open a Chrome driver. Whatever the version may be, it should open the Chrome, open the Chrome browser. As we can see, it's opened a Chrome browser for us. So let's try to open some other browser. Let's say Firefox. We need to update this method to the Firefox driver. Here as well, we need to update it to Firefox driver. So now let's run and see whether it is opening the Firefox driver. So it should open the Firefox driver without depending on any version of that browser. So as we can see, it's opened Firefox as well. Now let's try to open the Edge browser using Edge driver method. So just need to update the two places. So let's run this. So it should open as a web, like Edge browser. Yeah, it is opened Edge browser for us. Yeah, this is the simplest way like we can use without worrying about the version of the driver we need to use or anything. So the complete documentation, we can find it over here. So I will provide the links in the description. So there is a official site as well. So here we can understand more about the architecture. How WebDriver Manager is working. 
please go through this documentation to get the architectural knowledge about web driver manager so that's it for this video thanks for watching please do like the video and subscribe to the channel